did a really simple, um, easy morning glam. Um, we used the bronzer on the eye, on the face. We did lip and cheek. Um, still always uh, finish with like a really great mascara. Um, and we kept it super matte. I still got you to use a little bit of highlighter. Um, I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. And I think the whole goal for this was this is what I want you to be able to do every day. Mm -hmm. And when you show up to my house, I hope you look like this every day. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm excited. I like being able to do what I normally do. Learning about better products, better techniques. Um, the multi-use is really attractive to me. Anything that I can do that makes it more efficient and also makes me look better in the long run, I love that. So we already primed Kate's face and now what we're gonna do is we're actually, we're gonna go straight into a CC cream. Um, this one's gonna be from Chanel. This is gonna be 40 beige. Kate's been getting some more sun, so her body's tanner than what her face is, so we just want to even that out a bit. And why we're going to use a CC cream is we want to color correct. Any redness, she doesn't have a lot, but some darkness under the eye, this will really help get rid of that. So I really like to apply this with a brush, and I like to just kind of go in and put the most amount of coverage where you need it. So if you're more red around your nose, you want to focus there and then kind of work your way out. But a lot of people, like their hormonal acne will be through like right down here, so start there if that works for you. I feel like I've tried a bunch of different CC creams and I've never been in love. What's something you like about this one? A little product goes a long way. So you're not using a ton, so it'll last you a really long that time. That is your brand, making something go a long way. You yeah. love products that do that. I feel like I use a lot of products, but I don't really use a lot of them at a time. There's no product that I use a ton of other mm -hmm. than blush, but even this. I really like it to be easy, and I'm using the same foundation brush I've now used every single time. So really keeping it simple. I do love how a sponge applies this too, so I like to beat it out, kind of um, blend it in with a beauty blender, but I really like going in with a foundation brush first. Nice. So take a peek. That's crazy. Yeah, super simple. So it's going to be really dewy, but like we learned last time, something that's a little bit more dewy, mm -hmm. it's going to grab the powder mm -hmm. really, really well. It's going to be a little bit more balmy. It's going to kind of feel like a lotion. Normally, as easy to put on with your fingers. I just like applying things with a brush or a sponge or whatever. It's kind of self-setting in a way. So if you want to do your brows, if you want to do something else during this, you can. But I really like to let this blend and then go back in with a sponge and just kind of blend where you need because you don't want to remove too much of the coverage, mm -hmm. but you also want a really good finish. And I always suggest always blend here even if you need the coverage there because you can always add more, but you don't want a direct line. <laughs> so we're going to go in now with the NARS concealer. You can prime the lid with this. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. This is creme brulee, and I like putting this on my hand first and then applying it to the face. If you want to use the doe foot wand and just make your streaks there, I just like my product to warm up on my hand. Do you feel like you use the same amount if you were to go straight in? I feel like you end up using more because you're waiting for it to like smear out, mm -hmm. where this, it's going to start to warm up on my hand, and then once I apply it, it's a little bit easier. And we're going to go kind of quick today, so not as much of a full coverage look, so I'm actually just going to focus this right in the inner corner of your eye and then we'll spot correct. I don't want to bring this. We're not dragging you mm -hmm. out like we normally do. Oh, those two colors go so well together. So what I like about this is this has a little bit of a peachy undertone, so it's always going to color correct. The CC cream? The concealer. Got it. Glug, 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 glug. So what's the difference between what you're concealing right now versus what you did the last couple times you did So this? I'm always bringing it really far out, mm -hmm. where I'm really just focusing this more towards the center of your face. Okay. You actually, you don't have a ton of blemishes right now, so it's going to be... We love that. It's because I'm not wearing any makeup. And I got back into my nighttime routine, and I started using that a serum again. Deal. Because I noticed the that... The Kiehl's, no, sir? Yes, because it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> Spoiler alert, except moisturize, and I'll, I'll take it. I'm really beating this in today. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So that's really it for concealer. It's not challenging. It's really quick. No. It's really easy. But we do need to set this. Because she'll melt off. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I just put some of the product right in the lid. And you just want to make sure that you don't have any creasing. Because this will kind of accentuate that. Anybody with like fine lines under their eyes, really blend that out. Mm -hmm. And then try not to like look around 
while you go and grab your powder and then you just want to set that in place. I am fully setting this even where we didn't put the concealer. Okay. So I like to kind of push that on. I'm feeling like a powdered donut, which makes me so happy. That's Kate's dream. But the mini is not a big one. So I never really use a brush like this unless I'm doing something like this, which I'm literally just lightly powdering your face. And I even want to get this a little bit in the brow. Really help me set it later. What do you think this CC cream would do for me in the summertime? I think that it's really similar in texture to like some of your favorite foundations. So I think it's not a crazy difference. I think it would work it's really well for It's more coverage than any other CC cream I've ever used. So yeah. I might love this actually. Now I just want to take an empty just like blank brush and just sweep away all of the excess product. I'm a house of New York. I know, Romy. <laughs> So excited to actually see a housewife that's not, I know this sounds terrible, but I'm happy that she's young. Like, she just makes me really, really, really happy. I think I said this too, but I'm just really happy. It feels so natural. Like, her jokes and her humor is what Bethany used to do, but she would say it for the laughs, whereas yes. Lena's being so genuine. Oh, she like, she's like, wait, you don't do that? She's so funny. I watched the episode twice. Because we're real fans. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to take, this is Stila, and this is a convertible color. It's dual lip and cheek cream. It's kind of like, uh, like pomade. It's not even like a gel. And then I have a Chanel kind of same texture. I'm just going to mix those together in my hand to let that warm up. What does it mean when you warm something up? Like so it's easier to blend? If you just take this right onto your face, it's like a glue stick where I almost want it to feel like a liquid by the time it gets to your face. Got it. And I'm just going to take a foundation brush. This one's MAC, this is MAC 159. And then I'm literally just gonna pop this. This is really pink. We're bringing Clarice back. This is really <laughs> You're gonna see when we bronze. Better. <laughs> but then you're gonna see that this doesn't have This is my MO though. Like this is why like when you used to glam me, I wouldn't even be allowed to look in the mirror because if I watch step by step, I get freaked the out. Well now I already look at it, it's completely different. Yeah. Okay, back to normal. She's now. back. I'm good. So why I like doing this, and this is like a really, really, really bright cream, but why I like doing this is because we just used the CC cream. It's cutting all the color in your face. Mm -hmm. So I want to bring that back. I want it to look like it's your skin. We'll never really get to do like a dewy, dewy finish, but okay. this works really well. If someone wants a dewy finish, like even before they set, do this and then set the makeup. So we're going to take a little bit of the Makeup Forever powder and just press that in a little bit right where we put the concealer. And then I'm going to take the bronzer in your hand and we're gonna use an angle brush and then just kind of go over where we just put the cheek. This is bronzer, I'm not really sculpting. I'm just giving her some sun and some color and just warming up her face. One day in the sun. I used to, in high school, try it. Like I would not put sunscreen on my face. I wouldn't wear a hat. I would do everything I could to get some kind of color on my face and it just doesn't happen. Doesn't work. And I learned how bad that was for myself, so. Hat, SPF, glasses, umbrella. Everyone's like, I'd love to age because of the sun. Well, it's just funny how many people who just don't take care of themselves. Me. Don't get me wrong, I definitely like to like lay out in the sun, like my body and stuff, but as I'm getting older, I feel like the tan is less important. So not really pink at all. It just kind of looks flushed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to her eye with the same exact bronzer that we just used. Oh, my favorite bronzer on my eyelids. So I'm just going to take this on a blending brush and just completely cover the lid. And then with the blending brush, what I like to do is just kind of go down the sides of the nose. Besides the fact that the products themselves are different, this is on track with how I actually do my makeup in the morning. Yeah, just quick. Yeah. So I like to take this right underneath the eye. You're doing so good. I can't. I fucking can't. I'm so proud of you. Papa Pat's proud. That's what my mother calls Papa me at the end. Pat? Papa Pat. I can't. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take... I look like my mother. Is that a good thing? It's a good thing. thing. I'm going to take some clear brow gel. I look just like my father, so there's no denying. We're actually going to take... But what's left on my hand and we're just going to go right over her pout. It's really easy. It's like gonna be really warm at this point on your mm -hmm. hand because I don't want you to go in with like a stick of pink and <laughs> smear it around. But what I like about this is this kind of, the way I was just pressing it in, 
kind of overlines for you and it just kind of looks like it's just mm-hmm. bitten. I know that was like a really big thing last year. And it's her favorite part. <laughs> this is Dior. Look straight at that. And you can curl your lashes, you can do whatever for the sake of time. Sorry, I fully stop breathing whenever you do that. <laughs> she gotta breathe. So, Kate likes kind of like a spidery lash. See that? When you say spidery lash, it sounds like Jersey Shore. It's like a little bit like that. But like what I like to do after this is just take a clean spoolie brush after this dries and just okay. kind of break them up. But I love how black that mascara is. Yeah, me too. What was that? Dior. Chateau. Chateau. Take all the way up. And then this is brown. And this comes to the bottom. And what I like about this is you kind of get that spidery lash without the clumpy blackness in the bottom. Ooh, You're doing child. fine. Okay. All right. We're getting there. We're so close. So close. Look all the way up. Okay, wait, question. Get it, girl? Am I crazy that I want, like, more bronzer? Or does this look good the way it is? I mean, I, there's never a <laughs> bronzer for me. Yeah. yeah. Can we just, like... Or am I, <laughs> should I not ask for that? Like, you're asking the wrong person. I love bronzer. I just want a little bit more. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Anytime you want to add something, you don't want to ruin what you just did. So you want to just gradually put that in. Oh my god, I haven't even seen the side of your face today. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Ken, how are ya? <laughs> I'm Lisa Renna. That was my Lisa Renna. I love turtles. <laughs> I love turtles. He's like, um, I actually, I do say no to certain jobs. And they go, didn't you do diving with the stars? <laughs> Sharknado. You can't take those bars. I'm going to lose my job. Oh. <laughs> Sharknado, dude. See, that makes me so happy. So happy. This is exactly how I would have done makeup for work. And God forbid you ever put a highlighter on your face, but what I would do in this liquid instant, um, a liquid highlighter, almost like a cream. Liquid highlighter? Why not, right? I'm, it's all about me learning. Ooh, she cold. Ooh. And I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and really just going to pop a little bit on at a time. What I like about this is this color is almost like a pearlescent pink, mm-hmm. but not as shimmery as Pat McGrath that I use in there. Love her though. Yeah. Just gonna like put a little bit of this to the lid. Inside and brow bone. It's the only place I'm putting that. And then just kind of highlighting right above your brow bone. Mm-hmm. And then that's really it. So just like a little bit. I'm not mad about that. It probably isn't even gonna read on camera, but I think it gives you like a little bit of texture instead of it looking so much. I feel really cute. Yeah, I would do all of that. Simple. All of it. That's it. This turned out so good. Yeah, I love this. So I think good. this is um, the easiest makeup that I think I've ever done on your face. Yeah. Um, I literally was mocking like what you do on a regular day and just kind of adding some different products instead of different steps. Um, it's still a multi-step look, but a lot of the stuff had double use. So lip and mm-hmm. cheek. We did use two different mascaras, brow gel. We're still using the Laura setting powder. So all the stuff just really bronzy and rosy so i think the (laughs) thing that i like the most about it is even though it is multi-step uh it's not as many steps as we usually do when you glam me so to be able to do what you normally do on a daily basis with a couple extra tips and tricks and honestly it looks better than how i do my makeup every single day super fun (laughs) (laughs) there's 10 deer in the backyard there's deer in the backyard i'm making you look like bambi Bambi in college because I would always wear these heels that I couldn't walk in and then I get so drunk that I definitely couldn't walk in and I look like Bambi with my ankles breaking.